Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Last night on Ham Nuggets, we made some progress on building out cables for the Nino TNC. Uh, about a week ago or so, I dropped a video on how to actually build out the Nino TNC. So I wanted to catch you up onto where we are in the process. So let's get started on getting finished. No, on getting progress made towards getting finished because I ain't gonna get finished in this video either. But I did wanna share to you some of the aftermath of nuggets. This is not my normal work position. My normal work position is actually over here. And you can see the box of mess over here, boxes of mess over here from the show. And then there's more boxes on the floor. That's, that, that's trash, that's not trash. So I got more boxes. Let's, let's just pretend that these are 50 caliber ammo cans and that's a better way to store this than these priority mailboxes. Let's just agree among friends that that's the way to do it is 50 caliber ammo boxes. So I'm gonna get those boxes set up. I'm gonna get this shack put back in order somewhat. And the mission here is to gather the pieces necessary, all of the cables, all of the parts, etc., and share with you what those things are so that we can then move forward in the next nuggets by getting out a box and getting that box on the air and getting out the other box and getting that box on the air and then making the two boxes talk to each other. So here we go. Uh, RV life. So there's only two electrical outlets in here and this is the one that's powering my laptop right now, which is crossing the door going right through the middle of the room here. Step number one, mag safe. Unplugged. This is the Yezu FT2600M that I repaired in a previous video. And this radio is interesting because it has a data connector on it. However, for better or for worse, we decided to use the six pin mini DIN that is popular on more radios. I'll get into doing some data work on a radio like this in a future video, but this one isn't it. This is the Alinko 435, and this is a 70 centimeter only radio. So 70 centimeter only, two meter only, which is what led to that other decision is these two radios will never talk to each other because they're on different bands. Again, we'll get to some videos on this radio and its data modes in the future. But for now, that goes in that box and that box goes on the shelf for future. So there's probably a good 10 or 15 videos in that box alone right there. And now we've got some desk space. I can start putting my desk back together. Step one, the laptop returns, which then gets the power cable out of the doorway. This Cantronics needs to be put away, which goes in that box. It technically doesn't go in this box. This is the box of all things TNC at this point. So I get this box so it can actually close. This is a Cantronics Cam XL. And this box goes up into this hole here which then made a mess of my USB power supply because that whole row has shifted. Okay, so I was trying to show you that these boxes are very easy to label. This is my box of TNC parts and then my TNC goes on top of it. This is actually a Cantronics KPC-3 non-plus model that is in the box. And I found the, the empty box at one ham fest and the KPC-3 at uh, old ham club and maybe an estate sale, I don't know. Put it all together and it just keeps going up in value as you start to get the original box, right? And then that frees up the spot for my KYY monitor. I showed you this in a previous Raspberry Pi Super Battle Station video where I had two of these and I am still using this one here on a daily basis. And actually we just got Chuck one of these at Hamcation this year. So now that gets plugged back in. This is perfect for carrying with you. It's a 15 inch screen and it's, it's great. I like it, use it every day. We're back in business. Laptop secondary screen, laptop primary screen. And we're getting there. Now it's time to make up some TNC node boxes with radios and cables and so on that are necessary to get this project moving along. All right, ammo box number one. Here we go. Project box, ready to roll. <laughs> and I put it together upside down. Perfect. Inside of this 50 caliber ammo can, we need to put our Nino TNC node. We need to put one of the cables that we built up. Computer, I'm gonna use a Raspberry Pi for this. All right, next up, I need a USB-B cable. 
and I have a USB-C to USB-B, and then I need a USB-C to USB-A adapter for the Raspberry Pi. In the description down below, I will leave a link to a regular USB-B to USB-A cable so you don't need all this mess. This is just what I have on hand, and if you have something on hand, no need to get anything new unless you're going to set this up 100% dedicated, then you should get 100% gear. And then I need a radio. This is the FT8800, and it has that six pin data pin on the back of it. And for this e early part of the experiment, I'm gonna need a dummy load per radio, and I'm gonna need a coax jumper per radio. And I need power. The Yezu has a T connector, and this has a Anderson power pole on the other side to get me into my power pole power distribution block. And then because Raspberry Pis are extremely finicky, I need a special Raspberry Pi wall ward. Raspberry Pis actually take 5.1 volts to shut up the under voltage issue. And then the new Pi 5s, they want a 5 amp power supply. This one's a 3 amp power supply. I'm using a Pi 4 in this case, so this one will be fine, and we won't get that stupid warning message about being undervolted. If you don't have a good solution for getting rid of that message, this is one of them. This comes from Bill Ross. I'll leave a compatible power supply down in the description below as well for you, because that is a pain in the butt. Okay, and now we close the box up. If we get that adapter out of the way close the box up and this is everything I need right now for the upcoming TNC project. So I got to do that one more time. I won't bore you with going over that on video because I also have to figure out which one of my radios I'm going to use. There are a lot of radios that have that six pin mini DIN data connector and two off of the top of my head that I can think of, maybe three I have to check, is the IC7100, that'll do it, and the Yezu FT818, that'll do it. The FTM 6000 Yezu's mobile radio has a 10 pin connector and not a 6 pin connector so I need a 10 pin to 6 pin adapter and I'm not making another cable. We already we already made cables. We're fine with that. And then maybe the Yezu 857 has it. We're making progress and that's all that really matters in ham radio. Every day make a little bit of progress towards your goals and you will get there sooner than later. That's what we did on Nuggets the other night. I didn't didn't have the motivation to make those cables, so we got after it on stream together. And then I am cleaning up my shack today, making a box for TNC number one and TNC number two, so we can get this data node set up. And who knows where it's gonna go from there. We can do APRS stuff with this, or we can do Winlink packet stuff with this, but we can also do AX25, and we can do the actual thing that the Nino TNC was intended for, which is to join the Tarpon data network. And we can do it over HF or VHF or even UHF. So lots of options. I'll leave a bunch of links in the description down below so you guys can get caught up with where we are right now. And I will see you in the next episode of Ham Nuggets, Monday nights, 6.30 p.m. Central, where we're going to continue to make some progress on this thing. In the meantime, I am on a quest this year to reach 100,000 subscribers, and you can help. Right below the video, there is a subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. If you would like to help support the channel financially, there is a join button right next to that or a Patreon link in the description down below. But hitting that subscribe button helps me get to my goal of 100,000 subscribers. And I appreciate each and every one of you for clicking that. While you're waiting for ham nuggets to come out, there is a video right here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.